magic so today i'm not going to tell you any tutorial or anything else i'm just gonna tell you about a simple trick of corelda how to convert an image to a layered file of photoshop as you can see i have a corelda file it it is separated layer by layer over here but if i want it export to psd you can see just i am giving a different name let it be psd1 and uh, it is uncompressed export all these checkbox should be ticked and maintain original size ok but here if you open that file you can see the file is imported to photoshop but it is not separated by layer you can see that see this is a single image just behaving as a single image and you can't do any kind of editing over here you can't get the layered file to make it layered first of all just study how much layer you want to create see the outer circle is one second one this one could be one three this one four the whole pattern five and the middle logo the helmet shaped head it's six so just here create six pages like this this is page one just click on page down on your keyboard press enter press down enter press down enter press down enter press down enter so six files we have created so just now select one of them control x put it in page 2 the same thing I'm gonna repeat for each and every element control x paste it on third page control x paste it on fourth page control x paste it on fifth page and for this pattern file it is not grouped so I have to copy it or cut it one by one it will automatically take the shape just control V like just copy it out select them if you select by dragging then it may select other element too that's why I'm just trying to be careful enough control X last page control V so this pattern has already been copied one leaf has left over here you can see Control X last page control V <coughs> selecting these two control X. sorry one is selected that's why I'm just doing it again control X go to control V so before you do just make you sure you just make copy of the original file because anything wrong happens then you may recover it from there I could have grouped it before I got it from here but it may take much more time that's I'm just selecting it and copy it out so it will take it save automatically because I am taking the same 
page same page of same site that's why there's no need to worry about that about the orientation and placement of this element it will automatically form the position so for this one control x then go to last control e so here you have see just like control g select an g it became one group one two three four five six so right now just go to file and export it make a name psd2 export so all the checkboxes are ticked cmake32 or you can choose any of them rgb or anything else then okay better to have cmake as it comes with transparent background so it will take some time to convert okay it's done so i'm just gonna open it on photoshop it is psd2 see you can see over here although all the layers having the same name layer so right now you, you might be wondering where is the middle part of this logo so here you can see this file has a filled circle that's why it's not showing that logo uh, showing that middle part of the logo so you can drag this layer to last sorry it's not dragged okay you can now place it over here see so right now all these logos all these layers are different so we can make any kind of animation or any kind of edit over here so for this kind of tips and tricks you can subscribe my channel and like my channel and just place the bell icon to receive new video notification okay, thank you for today have a good day